Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at the December Visa Bulletin and just do a quick overview on how to read it and what it means. So to get to the uh, December Visa Bulletin, uh, just go to Google and you can type in Visa Bulletin and go to the first one, which is the first result, travel.state.gov, the Visa Bulletin. And you can see the current Visa Bulletin is November and the upcoming December 21 Visa Bulletin. This will start on December 1st. So let's take a look. And uh, after you click on it, we're just going to talk about employment-based cases in this video. Uh, we could talk about family-based, but most of the interest with our clientele is with employment-based. And so scroll down a little bit past family-based and get to employment-based. And we'll just kind of do a quick overview. The, uh, the C means that the priority date is current. And so if you have uh, a pending or approved I-140 and you have a C in your category, that means you can file the adjustment of status right away, the I-485. Um, application for permanent residence, along with the EAD, which is the work permit, and the advanced parole, which is the re-entry travel permit. So most countries are current for all categories. U means unavailable, and that's the EB-5 regional center. Um, the, um, there are four areas where there is a backlog. Um, China, Central American countries, India, and Mexico. Now, um, first, well, most PERM and I-140, PERM, EB-3, EB-2 cases are in these two categories. Third category is EB-3, second category is EB-2. EB-1 is extraordinary ability, uh, self-sponsored, self along with a, uh, the multinational executive green card category. And as we can see, those are currents across the board. EB2, uh, which is either national interest waiver or labor certification based, is current for most countries except for China and India. And what the dates mean is that um, if it's a perm case, it's the, the priority date is the date that your perm is filed. So if your perm is filed, prior to the date here, then you can apply for adjustment of status. If it was filed after this date, then you have to wait until uh, and keep checking future visa bulletins until your priority date uh, either becomes current or it uh, falls behind the current, the, the retrogust date. Leave a comment if you have any questions about that. We'll do our best to, to answer it. That can sometimes be a confusing uh, and non-intuitive concept. Uh, so let's look and see what movement has been from November. Uh, we'll simply go back and click on November and scroll down to family uh, employer-based. And most months, we're using dates for filing. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's look at India. EB2 India, you had to have a priority date prior of January 8th, 2013. EB3 prior to January uh, 22nd, 2012. And then let's look at the current the upcoming visa bulletin in December, and we're looking for final action dates for employment. And May 12th, so there was some movement, and a very minor movement for EB3, uh, more significant movements about, that was January 2012, 2013, so uh, six, seven, seven months for uh, EB2. Now, there are, since there are two
options for employment-based. You see final action dates for employment-based and dates for filing for employment-based. How do you know which one to use? You have to click on the link and go to the USCIS website and about five days after the visa bulletin comes out it will tell you what which one to use for so for example in November it says you must use dates for filing the dates for filing chart which is this one the December visa bulletin just came out yesterday which was this uh, November 15th so probably by November 20th USCIS will update this for November and you'll be able to see which chart to use for uh, for December for the December uh, filings so it's either going to be final action dates which is here or dates for filing which is here final action dates is a little bit better for a second category because there is a I'm sorry dates for filing is better because it's a um, a more recent cutoff date. So anything, any priority date prior to July uh, 8th, 2013, you can apply for your adjustment of status if they're using dates for filing. So let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, if you found this helpful, uh, please like, uh, subscribe, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.